All right, so these are, this is how I've organized my videos for now. Got the classics editions now. I did it a different way. I put the first release, or the early, the earliest release I'd have of a classics edition. Like here's Pinocchio. You can't really see it too well here because of the lighting and then Dumbo. I don't have Fantasia here because now I don't consider Fantasia a classics edition. Now I know it opens with the classics logo, but I think that was meant to be a standalone edition because it would have the classics logo on the packaging. I think at the time when Fantasia was released, it was, I guess, too special to be considered a classics edition. Although I bet in some, I've seen some prototype cover artwork that had the classics diamond on it, but for now, it has, it's in its own section. Of course, Bambi. Now, you know, I have three copies of Bambi and I have multiple copies of Dumbo, and you're probably wondering, where are they? Well, I've saved them for another section. I'm just going to keep the, I'm just going to save this section for the first release of each. And of course, it looks better too, because you're going through all the classics without repeating the same title over and over. Now, the Sword in the Stone, I don't have, I have the original Sword in the Stone on beta in the black clamshell. So, I'm using the white clamshell right now as a placeholder. Jungle Book, Robin Hood, of course, no Aristocats or many Avengers of Winnie the Pooh. Those were not classics editions. Those weren't released in the classics line. Neither were Black Cauldron or Oliver and Company, Great Mouse Detective, Rescuers Down Under Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin. Of course, Aladdin was the latest film to be a classics release. Of course, Lion King would be a masterpiece edition. Now, here are my my other copies of classics editions, including reissues. So we got Pinocchio, 1985 and 1986. Box set, of course, as you could see there. More reissues. There's that promo sales tape for Pinocchio there. Reissues, reissues, reissues. So you kind of get, you're kind of getting the point here. Basically, I'd have just one tape of it, so it would look like a list of the classics, and then all the reissues and variations of the tapes down here. And like I said about Fantasia, I reserved Fantasia. It has its own section here. The classics release of Pinocchio is not on this shelf. The 1993 one, I still don't consider it a classics edition, though, even though it opens with the classics logo. It doesn't mention classics anywhere on the packaging. And the laser disc has the Walt Disney Home Video logo, which, thanks to Aubrey S1987, he, he told me about that. <clears throat> That's why I don't have it in here. And then I held a spot for a couple cardboard slipcover cases. Of course, I got Caballeros and Mary Poppins here. And I've got some of the earlier cardboard slipcover titles, including the Cartoon Classics box set, as you can see here. And then... The rest of the shelf are my Blu-ray discs, because those are very important, too. Since I got this nice big screen TV in here, figured I'd have my Blu-rays where I can find them. The rest of the videos are in my closet, and they're neatly organized in these boxes, so it's all good. But that's how I have my shelf for now. That's what I chose to display. And thanks for watching this video. This is IMAX Nation 1980, signing off.